My name is Jack Tribal, and I'm a senior at the Port Townsend High School. Um, I've learned about this academy because I was at the high school and I heard teachers actually talking about it. And it seemed really interesting and it seemed like a unique alternative learning experience. And yeah, I really just caught my eye and attention and I just took the opportunity and um, ever since then there's just been no regrets at all. Our second year, tell us about why you came back for our second year. Um, it's kind of like the reason why I said in the first one, just I really like this environment more than being in an actual classroom or like just sitting in a building, like just listening to lectures all day long by teachers. Um, and so yeah, I like the outdoors as well. I love being outside. Um, and it waters, like being out in the water is something I don't really, I never really got the experience when I was younger. So I thought that, um, like now would be the like would be the best time to take that advantage. Will you tell us about a memorable moment in the Maritime Academy? Pretty much like a year ago when we rode the mile last year, um, my oar broke, and I thought um, I thought I really wasn't gonna get through it, but um, I ended up doing it with a really really small paddle, <laughs> um, a lot smaller than regular ones, and yeah, I just I just told myself that I could do it and I believed in myself and um, I thought that was I thought that was a really cool memorable moment for me. Um, can you share a time in your life where you found something you learned in the Maritime Academy useful? I feel like not tying has definitely helped me um, from outside this class as well. Um, I feel like there's been a lot of occasions where just people in general have like asked me to help them tie stuff where they couldn't do it and um, and, I, and I was just able to do it because of this class. Um, I feel like um, there was maybe a few occasions too where I helped people with navigation. I feel like navigation has helped me a lot too. Just like, just on reading maps more. I feel like I'm a lot better at doing that. Um, and reading compasses and just knowing where you are and what direction you're going. How do you feel about rowing that boat? Um, it's definitely a challenge. Um, she made me and a few other people row those ones while the other um, while other people row the bigger ones. I thought those people definitely had an advantage because um, the bigger boats would just be easier to cut through the water. You just get more acceleration and speed. But yeah, I definitely had tr a little bit of trouble actually rowing through the cramps. You did a great job, just think, Jack. Yeah. Uh, last question. If you were to speak face to face with the donors who help fund this program, the Maritime Academy, what would you say to them? Um, honestly, like a loss of words. Because, <laughs> I don't know, I just, I can't really explain. Because you guys have just done so much for us. Um, it would just be honestly a really big, big thank you. Um, and because I just appreciate you guys so much for doing this. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just be so hard to explain all the all the feelings. But yeah. Well, it's such a pleasure to work with you, Jack, as your instructor. Yeah, and, it's a pleasure um, to work with you too, as a student. I really appreciate you talking with us. Yeah, I um, appreciate you guys interviewing me.